Hey guys and welcome to vlog day 19. So today I thought I would do another kind of static vlog, me sitting down. I've done a couple of these throughout vlog and the response to them has been actually really good so I hope you guys like them and if you have any requests for other ones to do um, over the next, I think there's 10 days left of vlog, then let me know and I will try and do them because there's definitely a few um, days where I'm, I'm kind of like not going out or doing anything kind of exciting to do a follow me around vlog so um, static videos are kind of fun to do as well so um, I like them so if you like them let me know and let me know what else you would like to see. So today I'm going to be talking about my current kind of favourite books. I've never really spoken about books too much before, I've mentioned them a couple of times in kind of monthly favourites videos and stuff like that. Um, because quite frankly I don't get as much time as I would like to be able to read. I love reading but it's one of those things that you kind of have to make time for um, and a lot of the time I don't actually kind of make time for it and read as much as I should but I've got a couple of favourite books that I wanted to tell you about. They're not groundbreaking, they're not a um, bit of a disclaimer as well, I don't really read intellectual books. Um, I read for fun, I got enough of intellectual reading when I was at uni for the time being, I might come back to it um, again in the future, but at the moment I like to read for fun, um, I like to read mainstream books. I'm sorry if, as well if my voice is a bit um, funny, I'm not very well. I've been kind of like getting ill and I don't think I've really shifted um, the illness, like I was... I had a cold like two weeks ago and it went away and now it seems to have come back. It can't be a new cold because I didn't really recover properly from the last one but it seems to have kind of come back with a vengeance. But anyway, um, that's why I sound a bit funny. But on to the books. Yeah, obviously I love Harry Potter, I love Twilight, I love The Hunger Games, um, The Uglies series as well, um, Northern Lights series. I kind of love um, teen fiction, kind of sci-fi type um, things as well as like um, supernatural kind of genre. I love all of that stuff so I'm not going to go too much into that because I think you know that's a bit too mainstream and you guys all know about Twilight, you all know about Harry Potter and stuff like that. So the first um, book favourite that I've got is actually an author rather than a book and it's Paolo Coelho who is also really 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 well known. Um, I think he's one of the best selling authors in the world actually. Um, I know he's been translated into, here we go, 62 Languages, um, The Alchemist, which is the most famous book, which I don't actually have because I've lent it to a friend, has sold over 75 million books worldwide. That's just insane. But anyway, here are two of my favourite ones, um, not including The Alchemist because I think that's obviously huge and most people have probably have read that. But By the River Piedra, I Sat Down and Wept is one of his kind of less well-known books. It's not usually included in the, like, um, gift box sets that you buy and things like that and then also 11 minutes which is great I love Paolo Coelho because he's kind of one of those authors that isn't intellectually like amazing but it's not trash like it's a good read but it's also not like oh you're reading kind of some trashy chick lit kind of book um, and it's kind of spiritual as well his books are moving and they make you think and they're spiritual and I like them so if you want something that um, will make you think and reevaluate things but you don't want to kind of go into boring um, intellectual literature then this could be good for you. I, I like them a lot and you can get them really cheaply as well because they've sold so many um, you can buy them for a few pounds on Amazon. I actually bought um, a whole set, I think I got 10 books for 10 pounds from the book people um, a year or so ago of like a load of his books so that was great. Um, second up is Never Let Me Go, sorry I just had to pick it up off the floor, I was like why's it gone to fall on the floor, is Never Let Me Go and I don't know quite how to pronounce his name properly, I think it's Kazuo Ishiguro, um, I'm probably saying that wrong, anyway this is really famous as well because it's recently been made into a film with Andrew Garfield who I love, um, Kira Knightley and Carrie Mulligan um, and this as you can tell is like the film version of the book um, but it's a really massively best selling book and it's a really interesting concept, it's basically about I, it's kind of um, an alternate reality rather than in the future um, where they clone people to harvest organs from them um, and I won't say too much more about it but it's kind of set in a way that you don't really know um, the kind of whole situation around the story and it's kind of got this like dark undercurrent to it where it's such a kind of sick thing to be happening but in a way it's kind of made to seem normal and 
I just think it's written really, really well, and I really, really loved the book. The film was also really good, and I'd recommend seeing that. And I don't normally go for, or really fall for the massive kind of cult books. Like, I didn't really like Lovely Bones. I know that'll be controversial, because so many people love Lovely Bones. I didn't really like Lovely Bones. I didn't really like um, One Day, which is weird, because I actually loved the film of One Day, but I got bored in the book. Um, but I love Never Let Me Go, so I definitely recommend reading that. Next up, another huge series that I'm sure a lot of you will have read, um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series by Stieg Larsson. Um, I love this series. This is actually the third one. This is The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. Um, also recently made into a film. I read the books, I think, two years ago? No, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, and I absolutely love them. A kind of real slightly disturbing thriller but it's a really kind of addictive story and it really kind of draws you in I don't normally read thrillers um, that much I do enjoy them but they're not kind of my atypical choice of book um, but I really really love this and I'd recommend that as well if you haven't read it yet I'm pretty sure most people have read them um, next up I actually don't have the books because I just lent them to my friends but um, there's two books by Jodie Picoult which I've absolutely loved over the last um, I kind of think I've read them about six months ago, um, 19 Minutes, which is about high school shooting, and I find the whole concept of high school shooting is really interesting. I know it's a kind of dark um, topic, but I really, really liked that book and the way it was written as well, because it was written from the perspective of the child's mother, the child who shot all the people's mother, um, and kind of how she came to terms with it and um, things like that, and I just thought it was a really interesting way to look at it, and it makes you kind of think about... Um, what happens in those children's lives to make them kind of make that decision and I, I just found it very very interesting and it might not be for everybody but um, Jodie Picoult's books are great in the way that they, in the same way um, Paolo Coelho's books are good but in a slightly less, um, in a lesser sense I think but they're good books and they're kind of trashy but they're not like really trashy and I really like them and the other one that I loved is The Pact um, which I have actually read a couple of times because I read it once years ago and I totally forgotten I had totally forgotten like what happened um, at the end of the book and I rediscovered it when I was on holiday it was on the bookshelf um, and you know when you look at a book and I was, I'd finished my book and I was looking for something new to read and I was like I know I've read this but I can't remember what happened in the end so I had to read it again and it's great um, it's a story of a suicide pact between two teenagers and it kind of follows the court case because one of them doesn't die um, and that's also really interesting like I said Jodie Picoult's books they generally like have kind of dark undercurrents but they're really really good reads and I love them um, <clears throat> the book that I'm actually reading at the moment I'm really enjoying but I haven't finished it so I can't kind of um, give you any final comments on it is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness and I actually picked this up when I was in the airport on my way back from LA and as you might be able to tell from the title it is a kind of supernatural um, fiction book it's set in Oxford um, and it follows the story of a witch who is an academic studying at Oxford and she discovers this book which um, kind of her discovering it leads to a series of kind of strange events and she's kind of not sure what's going on all these mystical creatures start turning up in her library and um, it follows her kind of trying to find out um, what the book does and kind of she's in denial about the fact that she's a witch as well so she kind of doesn't want to get involved with it but it seems that um, it's kind of like magnetic to her like she can't stay away from it and I am really enjoying it so far. I'm reading this at the moment. I'm alternating it with the third book from the Hunger Games series, um, Mockingjay, which I actually am stalling a little bit on. Um, I loved, I only recently kind of discovered and started reading the Hunger Games books. I loved the first two. I read them in 24 hours each. Um, and the third one I'm kind of stalling on a little bit. I'm a third of the way through and I am kind of continuing to read it, but I'm not so um, addicted to it that I have to kind of go and read all the time. Um, which is a good thing if you have things to do because once you get into a book like that it's like a total like waste of your day or not a waste if you really enjoy the book but when I get really really into a book and I just can't stop reading it like everything else goes out the window so I'm kind of glad that I'm not like this with the third one but um, in a way I'm kind of disappointed that it's not as addictive as um, the other two but yeah those are the two books that I'm reading at the moment I hope you guys enjoyed this I know it's not like a particularly long list of like my favorite books and going too much into depth with them 
but I thought I would just share with you all um, kind of what I like to read and if any of you guys haven't read the books that I like to read then definitely definitely go and check them out and let me know if there are any recommendations if you like similar books to me and you have any recommendations of things that you think I would like let me know like I said in the beginning also let me know if there are any more kind of tag slash like static vlog videos you would like me to do um, over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be vlogging every day because I kind of enjoy doing them and it kind of makes a little bit of a change to the daily vlogging kind of type videos but I do really like them and yeah hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you very soon bye